Ladies and gentlemen, another day goes by and the bike industry treats us with more awesome new products and the words in this video are sure to excite you as any new product in the bike world when it comes to suspension. Plush, cush, slick, thick, and stiff. Well, it wasn't a very well-kept secret that RockShock as well is going into the super enduro world with their forks. Once again, getting more nitty gritty with the little you know, disciplines of cycling and all the little narrow niches of those disciplines and making suspension products for every single one. So this is the Zeb. It's a 38 millimeter stanchion. I'm calling it super enduro. I don't, I don't know really what to call it. So this thing is bridging the gap between the Lyric and the Boxer, which is their full-fledged downhill fork. So 38 mil stanchion, long travel only. So 160 to 190 millimeters of travel. Um, entirely different air spring, still got the Charger 2.1 in it. And it's just a big, burly, super enduro fork. I think the reason these brands are making um, suspension like this, it's actually pretty interesting because when you talk to those brands and dig into why they're making these products, a lot of it really is racer feedback, right? And the fastest guys in the world, like Sam Hill, right? He's one of the best downhillers and enduro racers in the world, who is a RockShock factory rider, um, had a lot of input on that sort of thing, and so did their other racers. And those guys and gals are pushing bikes to the absolute limit on the Enduro World Series races, and they just need products that support that, that can help them go faster. So that's kind of where this style fork really makes sense when you're really going fast and you really want a stiff fork. So it's not entirely about stiffness per se. That's what she said. But you know, something RockShock was mentioning is so this does have 21.5% more torsional stiffness than a Lyric. And what that means is like the actual torsion of the fork when you're steering that thing. So if you're going super fast, rough rock garden, and you're trying to steer the bike through that stuff, that's where you really want that torsional stiffness. And that's the feedback they got from their racers and riders and staff and engineers of what they wanted to improve on. And really, again, just kind of make a super enduro fork for those larger riders or those faster riders that are really pushing the limits there. And then of course, too, when you have a larger diameter stanchion, you can pack a bunch of more stuff in there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to see RockShock come out with this. And I mean, of course, the two big dogs in the suspension world for mountain bikes are, are you know, just going to be leading the pack here in terms of making new stuff for every little discipline of riding, especially, you know, the biggest racing scene right now, which enduro racing is, is really big and really important. So before I tell you my review on how this thing rode, here's my twin brother, Jeffrey Tudlow. Hey, how you guys doing? Jeffrey Tudlow here with a review of the RockShock Zebra, Zed, Zed, Zeb. I uh, got my camera crew with me this time, Jerry Tallywacker. Howdy! And uh, yeah, you know, the, it's plush. It's got a 38 mil thick stanchion. I said that in another video not that long ago, but I already, I already given her I already gave her some quality tests and it, it's it's plus check check it out So that's Tudlow's review. What is my review? Well, 
When I rode this thing, I loved it. I'm super impressed with suspension these days across the board. I mean, it's, it's amazing how good stuff is getting right now. And I grew up riding and racing downhill and have spent a ton of time on the boxer. So riding this immediately thought, like this feels better than a boxer. Um, it just felt super, super plush and stiff. And it, yeah, is incredibly impressive. So I think, you know, when you get to a fork that's long travel like that, that's that stiff and that um, basically, you know, has the latest and greatest dampers and air springs in it, you really get something that feels as good as a downhill fork and it feels as stiff as a downhill fork, but it's not quite as heavy, you know? So this kind of bike, again, to me, I'm calling it super enduro. Um, this thing is about a half pound heavier than a Lyric. So the Zeb is roughly uh, 2,281 grams. Lyric was about half pound lighter than that, um, but it is a lot stiffer, it's longer travel, and it has a totally different air spring in it. So it's definitely a, a different fork in that sense, and it feels different, and it feels, feels rigid, it feels fast, it feels very precise when you ride um, when you ride this thing, you feel just in control and it just feels consistent and like stable, I think is the biggest thing. And kind of that stability feeling where you really notice that on a fork like this and the stiffness is, you know, when you hit a large G out and how the thing just, it, you, you don't feel like it bottoms out or it's too linear. Or you feel like it ramped up too quickly. You don't really get any of that feeling. You just feel like it just monster trucks over G outs and huge rock hits. And it just feels really stable like a downhill bike would, but yet it's single crown and you can actually pedal it up a hill as well. So uh, really cool, really impressed with this. I know everyone is going to be asking for a comparison video. We've compared a lot of RockShox versus Fox suspension in the past, and we are absolutely going to do a Zeb versus the 38. Stay tuned for that, and there'll be a ton of details all about those two things neck and neck, so you can kind of see what's going on there. But now let's get into the specs for this thing. So the configurations for the Zeb, you have the Zeb Ultimate, $999. Really impressive price point there, I shall say, for the top of the line stuff. Um, that comes in 160, 170, 180, or 190 millimeters of travel. Then you have the Zeb Select for $799. And it's basically the same thing, but with a different damper. So it has the Charger RC in it, which just has rebound and low speed compression only. Then you have a couple EMTB variants of the Zeb, which is pretty interesting. RockShox definitely going after the EMTB segment as well and, and trying to make good forks for those that category of bikes since it is different in terms of how you tune it and what features it might need. So um, the regular Zeb EMTB 699 Charger R damper, that actually goes down to 150 and tops out at 180. Um, rebound only on that, but it has a, you know, kind of their compression tune for it. Um, then the EMTB dual position. So that's pretty interesting. RockShox used to make dual position forks forever ago. I don't think I've seen one in a long time, um, but it does kind of make sense on an EMTB, right? So it's a um, 150 is the low travel and 180 is the upper travel. So the idea there is like it's a 180 fork, but when you climb, you put it in the 150 mode. And what that does is it lowers the whole front end of your bike by 30 millimeters. Get low, get low, get low. Why that's significant, especially on an e-bike, is because you have so much torque and power going to that rear wheel with an electronic motor that it kind of makes your front end want to pop up and wheelie on a long travel bike like that. So having a dual position e-mountain bike fork is actually pretty dang good idea. And I'm impressed that RockShox did that. So um, that thing's 799 for the dual position air for the EMTB. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the variance. I think there will be a Select Plus that's OE only. Um, these things look super nice. It does have that sort of new industrial design that you saw on the uh, recent RockShox SID release. So the lowers are a lot more aggressive and sharp looking. The crown sits out a little bit further for um, head tube clearance. You have a little bit more machining on the crown, which looks super nice. It's a 200 millimeter rotor post mount. Um, so still a 15 mil axle, but it does have torque cap compatibility. So that's basically a lot of different hubs out there. You can get torque caps, which is a RockShox proprietary thing, and it'll give you a whole bunch more surface area where the actual hub contacts the fork lowers, making it extremely stiff. So um, that's the deal with the Zeb and all the variants. As usual, article below in the video description for all of the nerdy details and even more information on all this sort of stuff and pricing and side-by-sides and all that. 
Last thing to note, it does have three threaded holes on the back of the arch, um, so you can bolt a fender onto it. Not exactly sure when the bolt-on fenders are gonna be released, uh, but they should be showing up sometime, and I was told by a little bird that they're $20, so um, there you go. Cool to see that we won't be needing to use zip ties to get our fenders on our forks um, much longer. Uh, yeah, that's it for the Zeb. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.